Still relying on traditional VPNs for remote access, we might be at serious risk. With employees working from anywhere, using their own devices, relying heavily on cloud apps, SSL VPNs are no longer enough. These legacy solutions expose multiple exploits and attackers are taking full advantage. In 2021, CNA Financial, one of the largest insurance firms in the US, attackers exploited vulnerabilities in their SSL VPN. From there, they gained access into internal systems and deployed ransomware that encrypted over 15,000 devices. The breach disrupted operations for weeks, ultimately led to reported $40 million ransom payout. These attacks often begin with stolen credentials, outdated VPN endpoints, or lack of network segmentation, and escalate fast. But how do you create an airtight network without sacrificing usability? This is where SonicWall Cloud Secure Edge comes in. CSE gives you a smarter way to control who gets into what in your network, no matter where they are or what device they're using. Instead of trusting someone just based on their VPN, CSE verifies users by identity, device health, role, location. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through basic setup of SonicWall CSE so you can confidently deploy more secure, scalable access solutions for your users. Now, before you do anything, make a backup on your firewall. And before we start, uh, there are some requirements. Your SonicWall firewall must be running SonicWall uh, 7.1.2 or newer. The firewall and CSE must be on the same tenant on mysonicwall.com. And make sure your firewall is running in global mode. Policy mode does not support it. And lastly, we'll need a user directory. While CSE supports full integration with providers like Okta, Google, Entra ID, and more, this guy will use a built-in CSE directory for simplicity. Just note that external IDPs unlock advanced features like multi-factor authentication and better user management. So to start, you'll need a license. You can purchase a license through our site, but you can get it free through the 3 and 3 promotion. Amazing deal, I'll link it down below. For this demo and everyone watching wanting to try this out, SonicWall offers a 30-day trial for 25 users. To redeem this, you can log into your mysonicwall.com account, go to Product Management, Free Trials, and click Try Now on CSE. Now select the tenant with your firewall in it. Now, if you purchased or received a license with your three and free promotion, go to My Workspace, Register Products, pick the tenant where your firewall is registered, enter the activation key or serial number, choose a friendly name and a CSE name. This is used in the URL and invite codes. Note, this cannot be changed later. Set the data center location closest to you and click Done. CSE will provision in about five to 10 minutes and you will get an email when it's ready. So for this demonstration, we're gonna be using the SonicWall TZ270. So the TZ270 is on the lower end of the performance, but I just wanna demonstrate, you don't really need powerful hardware for CSE. This sets the requirements for a super secure connection very low, so there's no excuse for vulnerabilities. So let's get this unpackaged. All right, so Pretty sleek front. You can see all the port indicators. On the back here, we've got seven dedicated gigabit ports, our 12 volt power in and console port. So I'm gonna get this hooked up into the network and we'll get started. So I registered the firewall to the same tenant the CSE is registered to. Now we just need to go to the CSE control panel. To do that here in my SonicWall, we're gonna click on services, available services, and capture secure center. And then Cloud Secure Edge. So our first step now that we're in here is to create a user. We need to go to directory and under the user tab, let's add a user. And for roles, uh, by default, it's going to add us into the all users role. You need to click add users. Once the user is created, you'll receive a temporary email password for your first time login. So we'll take that password and set password and get started. Now for first time login. Once you're logged in, it'll prompt you for the download for your machine. So we are on Windows. 
Now before we install that, we actually need to set up the connector to our firewall. This creates a VPN tunnel to your firewall to act as the exit node for your VPN network. So we're gonna go to our firewall, go to our network, Cloud Secure Edge, and status. We can see there's nothing in there yet. Access setting, let's turn that on. Then go to connectors. Here we can see our connector, it's not up yet. So we're going to edit this and allow the subnet. So we're going to say uh, X0 subnet. This gives it access to the entire LAN. And there we can see it's up. Now that that's set up on the firewall, you're gonna to have to give it about 15 minutes for it to show up on CSE server side. As you can see here, our TZ270 is now reporting. Now we need to create the initial VPN tunnel going from the user to the firewall. So to do that, we're gonna to go to private access and create a service tunnel. We're gonna name this to main office. Add our network. Here's the 270 and there is our subnet. So if we go down here, we're gonna set the policy to allow all users. And then you wanna make sure that connect on login is enabled and save. Now we're gonna install the client software called Banyan Security that we downloaded earlier. So here I've got it downloaded. Click register. And from here, we're gonna need our invite code. So we're going to bring this back up, go to settings, SonicWall CSE client, and copy this code. Now we're logged in. From here, we need to set our device ownership. So we're going to minimize this, keep this as corporate dedicated, and enter our one-time code that was sent to our email. So let's pull that up. Here's our code. Paste that here. Now all we have to do is set this to our main office tunnel that we created and connect. Now that we're connected, we can restrict access on a multitude of factors. So if we go back to CSE, go to trust, default trust and trust factors, from here, we can specify how we want our criteria. So auto update, that checks if Windows or Mac or Linux auto update is on, checks for disk encryption, checks to see if there was a firewall between you and the internet, checks to see if mobile device is jailbroken, checks the operating system to make sure it's up to date, and checks if screen lock is enabled on mobile devices. And there are limitless ways to restrict access and ensure users are who they say they are. This is a crazy powerful tool and it's free for a year with the purchase of a new SonicWall firewall. I'll link this all down below. Thank you guys for watching. Check out our configuration services and yes, we even do CSE. Did you make a backup? Go do it.